Jim Ebbets here, joined by Chris Stringer, Darren Till's teammate, head of UFC 228, goes down on September 8th at the American Airlines Arena, Dallas, Texas. Uh, Chris, sat in the middle of the UFC PI here, we were just talking about how great it is. Um, you've been here a week now, training with Darren. Yeah. What's it been like and how's he looking, I guess? Uh, yeah, training's hard. I mean, we always train hard. We're, we're known for training hard. Um, we have everything at our disposal here. Training with Till is another level. He's just... He's so sharp at the minute, so sharp, hitting so hard, hitting very well, looks amazing, looks strong, not once do you see him fade, so he looks great, looks incredible. Just talking with Mike, he was saying sparring's been uh, pretty <laughs> tough on you guys, you, you've been going through the wars and obviously Colin was saying earlier that you, you guys are really doing your part as well uh, for the team and actually, you know, take, taking your knocks, what, what's it been like for you? Well, it's not, I mean, it, it's not just for Darren, is it? It's, it's for it's the team. The team's behind Darren, and the team's behind everyone. And it doesn't matter if it's Darren fighting Grundy or fighting or Ali or me, whoever. Everyone gets in for everyone, and it's just part of the game. That if it's your turn to spar, you get in, you put the rounds in, and you do your best, and you try to do everything. But I'll be honest, he is hard. It isn't fun, but. You just got to do what you got to do. Iron sharpens iron, as they say. Mm, for sure, you know you've been with Darren, you know probably pretty since he started his career, especially at Team Carbon. Like, yeah. what, what's it like just seeing him going up through the levels now? He's on on the brink of a world title fight in two weeks' time. We knew we knew he was something special anyway. I mean, when he came to the gym, he just oozes charisma, doesn't he? He's a smooth guy. He's he's funny. He's good to be around. He learned so quickly. I mean, he learned another language in, in a couple of years. You know, so. Seeing him develop, it's it's just proves how good the coaching is as well. I think one, how good Darren is, and two, how good coaching is at Carbon because I don't think anywhere else it would have been as possible, especially in such a short space of time. I mean, he's just flown through the ranks, and it's it's amazing to see. You know, people talk about this fight with Tyron Woodley as like a stylistic matchup between your atypical wrestler and yeah. atypical striker. But mm -hmm. when when you kind of look at look at it as Darren's teammate, like. Where, where do you kind of see this fight being played out? Honestly, I think Darren finishes him. I think I don't think Woodley has has felt the power that Darren that Darren throws. He he's fought very good strikers, um, but I, I'm telling you, this man hits like an absolute truck. We can all testify to it. I think once you get hit with that shot, that automatically it'll turn you into a, a grappler. Like I like to strike, but with Darren, it's it's not, it's not fun. I'll shoot on Darren, no problem. But the I think Woodley will do the same. I think because he knocked out Lawler, maybe he's going to try and do a stand up. But as soon as Darren hits him, he's just automatic wrestler, and then it's just going to be Darren stuffing the takedowns and punching his head in. You know, Darren's 25 years old. Like, where, where do you think his where do you think his like limits going to come? Like, when do you think he's going to reach his potential? This guy's a limit, isn't it, for him? Did you say he's 25 years old? He's got a world title fight in a couple of weeks. He's an absolute monster. So. Honestly, there's not, nothing the kid can't do. Nothing he, he's a, I don't think he'll stop. You know, like, it, w what don't we know about Darren Till? Like, there, there must be some stuff <laughs> that you don't know that you know. Like, when, when was the first time you remember seeing him and think, you know, this kid's special? Um, he sparring. I remember sparring him, and he kept getting taken down and tapped and pounded, and he just kept getting back up every time. And he'd come back to the gym, and he just keep going, I'll get you one day. And he'd look at everybody and he'd go, I'll get you, I'll get you all. And we'd all laugh and then just bit by bit you've seen him grow and grow and grow. And I think, I think he's just, he's the next, not the next big thing, because he, he, I think he is a superstar in the making. I just think, it's, I don't think the world has seen his full potential yet, because in his fights he's only throwing one or two things. And he's got a whole arsenal of things that no, the world hasn't seen yet. You know, uh, you were saying earlier you think he finishes him, but w what's kind of the official prediction from you? Official prediction... Stoppage by round two. Um, maybe an elbow. I think I'll call, for an, I'll call an elbow this time. I think round two finish. Good stuff. And Chris, just just lastly, like, what, what about you, man? When when I know you've been recovering from a few injuries and yeah. stuff, but what, what does the landscape look like for you for the rest of the year? Um, well, I've got surgery planned soon, so as soon as that's done, maybe three to four months recovery, and then just get back and wearing people's people's nights again. Really, you know, start taking those uh, those W's that I'm not supposed to have apparently, and get climbing back to the ranks myself.
Any promotion you got you got your eyes on? There's so many choices I've, these days. Um, I've finished my contract with Bama, so uh, whoever wants me, I don't care. I just want to fight. I don't care where it is. I fight my back garden. I don't care. Just give me a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, uh, I guess the next big fight, I guess for the, for the team is obviously Darren's. Uh, what will the next two weeks look like for you as well, like in helping him prepare? Whatever he needs, basically. So whatever he needs, if he's on the treadmill, and I'll jump on the treadmill alongside him, just. Not for moral support, I think just to be there, you know, just to, just to do it along with him. If he needs a little bit of sparring or pads, obviously calls kill him on the pads. So, but if he needs me to do anything, or basically I'm here for whatever he needs. It's as we say, we're all all for the team, and everyone would do it for me. So, whatever's needed of me, I'll do the same. Great stuff. Thanks for your time, Chris, no and uh, we'll see you in Dallas. Yeah, man. Good stuff.